Hey guys, Toby Morrison here. Welcome to today's question and answer video. I have a question from Helen. Welcome, Helen. Uh, Hi, Toby. I'm desperate to start exercising, and though although I've been doing well, I'm still waking up aching, as though I've already done an hour in the gym. Plus, I'm scared of feeling more fatigued as when I did a bit of exercise a few weeks ago. So I ached really bad for a few days. Okay. So this is a great question and a really important topic to talk about and I think that Helen's situation is very common to a lot of people regarding exercise and recovery. Now there's an important uh, information on exercise and I've done an entire video on this if you if you search exercise and chronic fatigue syndrome it's had thousands and thousands of views uh, and likes. I checked that out it's very informative and I explained to you exactly what you should and shouldn't do and when you should and shouldn't uh, exercise. However if you have maintained your health, which means that you know you're not completely bed bound, um, your your infections and viruses have cleared up, um, and but you're just very physically deconditioned, it's important to do some form of restorative movement to recondition your body and and safely and effectively start to rebuild some trust within your body and your muscles again, and your your whole system, your immune system is going to benefit from that too. Uh, Everything will benefit your sleep, nutrition, your digestive system, your mood, your physiology, your mental, emotional health. Um, however, as Helen said, she's obviously a bit scared on when to start or how to start. And the most important thing is, is it appropriate? Now, sometimes you'll feel worse when you don't do anything. And that's really important to know that. So if you're if you're waking up feeling really crap and your, your body feels like you've already done a, a one-hour gym workout... It could be because you're very stiff and you haven't moved much at all, okay? What's important is not to push yourself, but to do something appropriate for you. And this might mean only one minute a day of some light stretches. This might mean doing some gentle movements with your arms and your legs, even sitting or lying down in your bed. This might mean, you know, just doing some breathing exercises to start with. Uh, and you'll see that if you're in the online program, you would have seen some restorative breathing exercises, some restorative movements, but before you even think about um, doing progressive exercise. So we're building up safely and effectively. Now, I'm just looking at her question again, and Helen said, you know, she's scared of feeling more fatigue once she's finished. Now, fear is a normal uh, common thing that, you know, this goes hand in hand with, you know, fear of doing too much, fear of feeling worse after. Now, the issue is that sometimes fear is false evidence appearing real. And sometimes the fear can be actually more exhausting than the actual exercise or activities you go and do. So it's important to know that if you're doing something appropriate and effective, and usually less than what you actually can do, then that's a great place to start because you can conf confidently say, I'm doing less than I like can physically, so if I do this regularly and consistently, I will be okay. Uh, it's only when you do something inappropriately, like try and run before you've walked or um, go for an hour swim when you haven't even swum a lap or, you know, do something that you normally, your body wouldn't actually be used to. That's when it can become a problem and that's when you can have setbacks and not recover between your, uh, your regime. So I would suggest to start with something small. Start with something that you think you can manage at home. Start with something that you think safe and effective and not too much. And if you have an issue or you have trouble trying to figure that out, that's what we're here for, to help you with that. So I would suggest for anyone who's struggling with it, they're figuring out what they should and shouldn't do, book in a coaching session with a holistic uh, health coach who can actually sit down with you and give you a plan to start with. From there, then that can give you a bit of a foundation to work from and, and you can start to move forwards in the right direction. So you should find that if you do the right amount, sometimes you even feel more energized and actually better after your movement session than you would beforehand. Um, the rule is that you don't want to feel any worse than you did before you started. So that means just backing it right off, but doing something consistent. Don't just do it for a day. And, and you know, like, let's say if you do a 20 minute walk in one day and then you can't walk for the rest of the week, then that's a silly uh, kind of, you know, inappropriate program for you. But if you did one or two minutes every single day or every second day, which is consistent, then that would be a more appropriate thing for you to maintain and manage and then progress from. Now, again, like I said, it's not just about walking. You might need a restorative movement plan, like I said, uh, muscularly first before you do any cardiovascular stuff. You might even just start with breathing exercises. But like I said, 
book in with a coach who understands and who is educated and knowledgeable in this area who can help set up a plan for you. But remember, the fear can be worse than the actual exercise in itself. So uh, don't fear the exercise, just make sure you're doing the right appropriate amount for you and listen to your body. Like, you don't have to push yourself with this. This is not about pushing yourself. You wanna actually do things from a calm, non-aroused state, okay? So a non-aroused, calm state. When you can move in that way, your body and your mind is actually not exerting much energy at all. And that way it can rest and recover uh, efficiently so you can do it again. Now, make sure you factor in quality sleep, quality nutrition and quality rest. If you're missing those three things, then exercise isn't going to be uh, a great uh, re recovery mode for you. So make sure you're sleeping well. Make sure you're doing all the right things to feel calm and relaxed. And if you're, if you're producing a lot of anxiety and fear, secondary to CFS or fibromyalgia, that can cause an upset in your energy level. So make sure that you're having a holistic approach, you're doing something that's safe and effective for you, and you can move forwards in the right direction. I hope that helps. All the best for now, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.